Hello, my name is Michael Corbidge and I'm a professional voice coach and text practitioner. In the following sessions, I'm going to help you rediscover your voices and really love the joys of standing up and speaking aloud, whether you want to act or whether you just simply want to enjoy using your voice. Part three of our warm up regime. It's one of my favorite parts. We're going to the gym. Now, don't panic, it's actually the face gym. We're gonna give this whole area a very big workout. So let's get started. First of all, I want you to look out into the space. Remember, we're always talking about the extended peripheral vision, this idea of soaking in everything you can see, this curiosity, this inquiry, the sense of the relaxed jaw, plenty of air able to come across the tongue. Good. And I want to see big eyes and a big smile. So our first big face stretch, okay? Big eyes and a big smile. I almost want your, your smile, the corners of your mouth to hit your earlobes. It's that wide, okay? And the, uh, the eyes literally to be like, like dinner plates, okay? Massive, great circles. Good. Now reverse that to small eyes, small smile. So a bit of a stretch. Mm. Looks like you're sucking a lemon. <laughs> and these little pinched eyes. Back. Big eyes, big smile. Very good. Small eyes, small smile. Keep breathing. And relax. This time, big eyes, small smile. So there's a real sense of surprise there. <laughs> and release. Good. Small eyes, big smile. So our first stretch. And just release that. To release any residue of tension in that exercise, we do what's called a horse buzz. It's very simple. Watch me. You might want to lick your lips before you start. It's quite good, isn't it? That sort of is like a setback mechanism. It just sets it back. Good but it's really good fun to do. So let's do a couple of those. And this time flick it out into the space. So give it some direction and give it some sort of landing potential. Very good. Now, we, all exercises we, we need to start quite small so we don't start you know, hurting ourselves. So I wanted to chew a toffee. It's just a moderate toffee that you would find in any selection toffee tin. Good. And just have a little bit of a chew. Mmm. And that toffee starts to increase in size. And it gets stickier. And it starts to stick between your molars. And you've got to use your tongue to unhinge it. And now it's really big. So I really want that sense of chew. Mm. And you can make sort of what I call hammy chammy sounds. As you can see, I'm always using my body in, in every exercise. Although this is an isolation, an isolation exercise, I'm not doing this. I want to get really excited with the rest of my body as well. Good. And just release that. Good. Now, with the first two fingers of, of each hand, just give your jaw a little bit of a massage. Just here, on your hinge. It'll induce a yawn. Use the yawn, close your mouth. That'll help create space and actually move the lower part of the jaw away from the upper. Good. Remember gormless is good. Just another horse buzz. Excellent. Now, your tongue 
is a very, very powerful muscle. And it has to do really, really agile and really dexterous work, work in your mouth in making sounds. And um, we see only a fraction of our tongue. We see the blade, the tip, and the dorsals, just like fins of a fish. Okay? But a lot of the tongue root lies under here, and it's quite lazy, so we need to warm the tongue root. Here's a good exercise. I want you to tie an imaginary piece of string to your tongue tip okay? and pull it out <laughs> as far as it will go. Good. And after you've sort of played with that for a, for a few pulls, take it to the left and then the right. And what you're trying to do is get the tongue as far out as possible and connect to other body parts like your earlobes. Okay? So, copy me. And then, of course, we go north and south. So take your tongue and try and lick your brow or your tongue tip. And then globally, I want you to think about the tongue sweeping over your face as if you're giving yourself a good clean. And remember when you've gone one way, go the other. So anti-clockwise, clockwise. So you've got this real sense of... And use your arm as well. Okay, good. Now, you might feel a little ache in your tongue. It'll soon dissipate. Horse buzz will help that. We're sticking with the tongue, and I want you now to think of it as a paintbrush. I tell all the actors that I meet that your tongue is a paintbrush. It paints sounds in your mouth. So I want you to imagine your mouth is a cave, and you've got some really gorgeous, sticky, gluey, gloopy kind of paint or honey, and you're going to paint the interior of your mouth. Okay, you're going to give it a good lick of paint. So, as you can see, I'm stretching my tongue all the way around my mouth, behind my teeth, in front of my teeth, every kind of little nook and cranny and crevice. And you need to make your tongue work. Standing and do it in a kind of passive, casual way like this, it's not going to work. It has to be really active. As you can see, I'm stretching my body as well, gently. And then just release that. So, we started to kind of really flex the tongue, get that tongue root nice and warm. And also, the interior of our mouth is starting to become much more alert. Just blow that feeling away. Nice horse buzz with sound now. So that's a whole new departure. So we're going to go from sky to the middle of the earth on a really nice sounded. Doesn't that sound great? Do it with the other heart, arm if you want to. Keep that flexibility. Love that sound. Doesn't it sound glorious in this space? Good. So, you can probably start to feel that everything's starting to kind of glow and uh, tingle and fizz. It's like um, your, whole, your whole face is starting to effervesce. Good. Now, another tongue exercise. I want you to throw the tongue out with no sound and try and get the tongue tip to hit the chin like this. And uh, I want you to be really excited <laughs> and a little bit scary with it. As you can see, I'm lifting my leg. I don't know why, that's just an impulse. <laughs> Good. And release. Now lip exercise. I want you to slap your lips together. And release. Very good. Little gentle 
massage of the jaw. Let that fall open. And this time with the heels of the hands, these are your heels of the hand, I want you to sort of pull down from your lovely cheekbones, down over the jaw, and down to the chin, like that. But careful you don't concertina your body, it's not this. Okay. Keep everything stable, keep alert to your posture. So with the heels of your hands, remember look into the space. Good, use your fingers. That's really gormless. We talked about it earlier, but really promote that sense of gormless. We're now gonna do it with sound. On a very simple, yeah. Listen to me and watch. We have a really lovely, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Feel the gormless. And then I'm using my fingers to create a smile. Look into life, open up the potential of that space with your eyes and that sense of incredibly kind of warmed up organ work. One last couple of uh, horse buzzes. A nice cascade with your lovely red ribbon. And you can reverse that. And you can take it to the space. Brrr. Brrr.